Hey there, bar is open on a crazy warm night again, but it doesn't matter because I'll be reviewing the Highland Park 10 years old single malt whiskey. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be reviewing this Highland Park 10 years old single malt whiskey. In fact, it's also called the Viking Scars. Now, there's actually a long story behind the box, um, really long story. So I'll put a picture of it while I'm savouring the taste later on. And it's a brand new bottle that I bought. Uh, I, I, I love how the box looks. You know, it's not it's not sturdy, it's a little tiny bit flimsy, but it just has exquisite designs on it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really beautiful, you know, and nice blue color on the inside as well. I'm, I'm interested to try the 12. But even the bottle, you know, even the bottle comes with nice designs uh, on the glass. So overall, it just has a very inviting feel. You can even join their inner circle to gain exclusive Highland Park contents to you know find out about new product releases and stuff. Interesting. And this Highland Park 10 Viking Scars Single Malt Whiskey is retailing at around 90 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, despite the size, it's a 700 ml bottle with 40% alcohol content. And as you can see, it's a brand new bottle. Uh, I'm, I actually purchased this from a request quite some time ago. I apologize for taking my own sweet time buying it. But, you know, it's finally here. And for whiskeys, I'll always review it in three ways. First, I'll be having it neat. Second, I'll be adding a little bit of water to the whiskey to let it open up, you know, just uh, and introduce more flavors to it. And finally, on the rocks. So, starting with the first two before my ice starts to melt, I will pour it in here, measure it carefully because I still have to work tomorrow and uh, let's not go wild on whiskey on a work night. So, just gently pour it in and into the tulip glass. Now, what I like to do for whiskies is before noting it, I do like to swirl it around the glass. The main idea is this, right? I want to see how long it takes for it to settle from the sides back to the liquid itself. In this case, some of it's holding up pretty well, but everything else has gone down almost immediately. To me, this sort of indicates there's not much of a finish at the back, and that's not surprising because it is quite a young whiskey. Sense wise, now for whiskies uh, and for spirits in general, they tend to be higher in alcohol content. You don't have to stuff your nose into the glass, just put it over the glass, the smell comes out. And this one doesn't have that, you know, alcohol smell. The, the, it doesn't smell like paint thinner, it doesn't smell like, you know, the nail polish remover. It smells Sweet. Well, let's find out with a taste test, and as promised, feel free to read up what's on the back of the box. This Highland Park 10 burns you all the way down. I'm already feeling really warm. It just made me perspire a lot more from my, from my forehead. Um, Taste-wise, however, maybe it's because it's a 10-year-old whiskey. There's nothing on the middle of my tongue. It's just a blend. There's a lot of burn, there's a lot of flavor at the sides. It's neither peaty, it's not sweet, it's just a very typical whiskey taste, dare I say it. Uh, typical whiskey taste on the sides. But there's no taste beyond the back of my tongue. It doesn't, there's no taste on my throat. It's just a burn. You know, so by itself, I think um, it's a little bit lacking. But let's find out how it is 
with water. Now there's very little whiskey. Now there's very little whiskey left, so I don't have to put too much water in, just a couple of drops. Swirl it a bit. And if you haven't finished reading the back of the box, please continue with taste test too. Adding a little bit of water to this whiskey removed the burn completely. However, it didn't help the taste at all. So all I'm tasting is the whatever was previously, sides of the tongue, nothing on the throat, nothing down, blenders on the tongue, on the middle of the tongue, and that's it. Uh, I'd rather have it neat. You know, at least I have the burn to know I'm drinking some whiskey. But up to this point, it's still not very enjoyable. Let's see how it goes on the rocks. So, putting this aside, same thing, we'll just pour a little bit because I'm not going to go wild today. Small bit of whiskey onto the ice. Now, I don't actually have to wait too long for the whiskey to chill because as you pour it onto the ice, uh, it does get chilled on the way down as well. Plus, I made sure that the ice ball is big enough to be in the whole glass. So, as I sip it, you know, it, it gets chilled on the way to my mouth. So, so finish reading the rest of the box. While I finish, taste test 3. <sighs> Having it chilled, made it PT. Uh, it removed the sweetness, uh, the blandness is still there, but now there's a peaty finish, uh, the smoky finish from this whiskey, and that's, that was un... and, and that came out from nowhere. Having it neat on, uh, with water, nothing. Having it chilled, you could feel the, you could feel the peatiness at the back. It's a very light peatiness, but it just appeared out of nowhere. Huh. So for this Highland Park 10 Viking Scars single malt whiskey, I would say that the best way to enjoy it would be on the rocks, um, simply because you know you have more layers to the taste uh, rather than just the, the standard alcohol burn. But at 90 Singapore dollars, I'm expecting a lot more flavors compared to you know what I'm getting. So probably would give this 10 a miss. Yeah, yeah, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste, preferences and opinions. They are not to be used as an industry standard. I do however want to find out what you think about the Highland Park 10 Viking Scars Singapore Whiskey. Have you tried it? You know, what's your opinion of the taste? Drop me some comments. Let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do have me click on the like button the subscribe button and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you're not for anyone enjoying watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to the video as well. And as always, my friends, happy drinking.